up guys, it's your boy Junior, aka Semi, and welcome to Semi2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, all the way to live streaming and live gaming and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff and more, then stay tuned to this channel. And guys, if you want to keep supporting the channel, all you got to do is like all my videos, share my videos, comment on all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit that subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. Alright guys, so today was going to be a very cool tutorial. As you guys know, a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people are beginning to the VR scene. So what have they been buying? They've been buying this little device here called the Oculus Quest or the Meta Quest, however you guys want to know it. I've known this as the Oculus, so I'm gonna keep calling the Oculus Quest, and it's awesome. All right, there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can silo apps on here that you can, is not supported by Oculus itself or Meta, and, and you can play it on here. And there's a lot of cool features you can have with that. You can VR and different things. It's pretty cool. The whole device is cool. But like to rewind a little bit, like I was mentioning siloing. You guys don't know what siloing is. It's taking stuff from outside the Oculus infrastructure and put it onto the Oculus. So, or any device, in matter of fact. But in this case, since we're talking about the Oculus, it's a way to you can put stuff on the Oculus that is not originally from the store. So, a lot of ways to do it. Uh, but the main thing you have to do first is you have to put this device in the level of mode. So, on today's video, that's all I'm going to show you is today is how to put your Oculus Quest in developer mode because you're going to need that to do all kinds of extra features in the as you, time goes on when you find out new things and I will show you new things. I'm going to show you how to get some um, upcoming games that are now releasing the Oculus Quest. It's completely legal and you can get free games on here and it's in why it's free is because it's still in developer mode and it's not been approved for Oculus to have it on their store but it's been improved enough so you can put it on your Oculus and so on and so on. I don't want to bore you with all that stuff because today all it is about is putting this device in developer mode so you can have the option of open source. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink myself down, open up my browser and take it to the website you need to go first. Because the first thing you need to do is sign into your account and create an organization. You're like, what's an organization? Basically, you got to create an organization so you can be a developer. So you're able to use the developer mode option on your device. Because like any Android device, you're able to go into the system and actually put in developer mode. On this, you're not able to go right in there just put in developer mode. Like, well, you don't even do it on the device itself. You actually have to go through the app on your phone to do it, which is crazy. All right. So what we're going to do first is shrink myself down. Of course, like I said, I'm going to shrink myself down. And then I'm gonna bring up the page you need to go. You gotta have to go to two websites. One website is to create an organization. And the second website is to download the ADB Oculus on your, on your computer. All right, so the first site that I'm gonna take you to is gonna be the, the ADB login. So this is where you get your drivers. This link will be listed down below in the description. So all you gotta do is click on it. I'm not gonna make you look for anything. So you wanna go here, and as you see, this says Oculus Deliver Permit. All right, so for PC users, if you're a Mac user, you don't need to do this part. Uh, for PC users, you have to do this part um, if you don't have ADB. This is just a driver. So basically, all you're gonna do is click download. So as you see, this is all from the Oculus website. I'm not showing you how to get any virus or anything this is directly from oculus so once you click download you're going to get this menu here i have read the agreement in terms of the license hit download perfect so now it downloads you see it right here it says download complete i'm going to open the folder up it's going to open up here it's in my download folder here just how to move it and basically once you have the folder which is right here as you see i've downloaded a bunch of times i'm going to right click it and extract here Yes, yes to all. And then once it's extracted, it's gonna create a folder right here. I'm gonna open up the folder and you see the USB drivers. Open it up. And once you get this part right here, all you wanna do is go to Android Win USB.inf, right click on it, and click install. 
That's all you want to do. Once you click install, it's going to install the drivers in the background real quick. And if it is successful, you'll get this pop-up message right here that says the operation completed successfully. Then you're all set. You're good to go. You don't have to worry about anything else anymore. This is a one-time thing. You got to do the ADV Oculus drivers. I got to do it one time and that's it. All right, so I'm going to click OK. Get out of that. Now, now the second website you need to do or go to will be the creating a developer account. Well, well, not even a developer account is to create an organization to get developer option available on your device. So another website you gotta go to is the same same website, just a different page. I'm gonna go here and, I, and I'm gonna leave this link for this page right here in the description guys so you don't have to worry about it or do anything else, all right? So once you're here guys, it's gonna, you have to verify your account. See, verify your Oculus developer account. There's two ways to verify it. You can enter credit card information or add your phone number here. So, I know a lot of people don't wanna put the credit card information, I sure don't. Luckily, you only have to do one of the two things. Uh, before, I thought you had to do both of them, but as soon as I added my phone number, I didn't have to do anything, I didn't have to add my credit card. So, as you see, mine is already verified. You have successfully verified your Oculus developer account. How did I verify mine? With the phone number. Now here, it will ask you to enter a phone number, but it just doesn't take the phone number, you type in your phone number. No, it's gonna link your Facebook account and it's gonna take the phone number off your Facebook account. So if you don't want it to take your number off your Facebook account, then, or add your phone number, then you have to add a credit card. And how would you add either one of this? So as you see, this one says complete because I've already done it, but it was like this before it said add. So you gotta do is click add. Once you click add on the phone number, it's gonna take you to a Facebook account where you log into your Facebook account and then it'll grab the phone number and verify your phone number from there. And then you're all done. Now, you don't wanna do that, you can do the credit card. Uh, all you gotta do is click add here. It'll bring up this menu right here and you just add your credit card information and that's it. That's up to you if you want to use it or not, up to you. But I use a phone number, just easier for me to use. Now, once you verify this and it bring you right here, you can go back home and you can go ahead and create your organization. Or over here, uh, before you verify anything, you don't have the option to click on this. All this is going to be blurred out. All this is going to be blurred out right here. So you won't, you won't even be able to open this up like this. As you see, I already created an organization but I'm gonna create another one for you guys. So before you verify it, you couldn't even do that. So once you verify it, you can click this open. You can pick the organization you have already, or you can create a new one. So, uh, if this is the first time doing it, you're not gonna have this. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one. And right here, I'm just gonna type in and then type in it right there, create one right there. So I'm gonna do semi-test. That's what I'm gonna do, semi-test one. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna create, create. you can name it whatever you want. All right, once you create the name, you hit I understand here, unless you want to read this whole thing right here. And if the name is available, you all clear, I'll let you submit it. You hit submit, and then you can read the, the agreement right here, or just hit agree right here, and then hit submit. And that's it, your organization is created. So as you see, it says semi test one, and I can choose back and forth whichever one I want to use. But I'm going to use this one just to leave it like that, and that's it. Once you double up this right here, guys, you don't have to do anything else with this website. This website can be dead to you for whatever, guys. You don't have to even worry about this device ever again, this website at all. So once you do all that, your next and final step is going on your phone and enable the lever promote. mode. So that's what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close this website down and bring you over to my phone, which I'm gonna bring right here. This is my phone. I'm just mirroring off my phone onto my computer so you can see it but I'm doing everything on the computer, which is actually reflecting on my com on my phone. So this is actually my real phone. It's just on the, on the PC, there's a software from Microsoft that you could download called your phone. If you have an Android phone, you can connect your phone onto the device and actually use it on the computer. So that's what I'm using. All right, so right here, guys, as you see, I'm on my phone and here goes the Oculus app. If you don't have the Oculus app, make sure you download it, install it, and then open it up. 
once you open it up it's going to ask you to sign into your account which is going to ask you to connect to your facebook so do that process and once you do that process you come here and open it up and then sign into your account like i said and then it'll bring here and on top of here if it doesn't already choose your device you come up here and pick your device the the go the riff and the quest i have all these i had this one but i got rid of it because i didn't like it because basically the go is basically taking your android phone and putting it on there um the go uh, depending what phone you get it doesn't work for all phones so that's why i got rid of it but i do have this one i got the s and then i got the quest one and two so we're going to demonstrate it on the quest two today so i'm going to put this in the promote so basically i'm just going to go ahead and open this click on quest two and I select quest two. Now, once you select it, you want to go to menu, open that up, and you want to click on devices. Once you come here, it's going to ask you to add a device. You'll click the plus sign right here, and then it'll, you go through these steps right here and follow the instructions. So you go to quest two, it's going to tell you about all this, continue, and then it's going to add your account on there, whatever. All right. So you once you add it, you it'll be listed up here as you see. My says my quest two right here. So you're all set. It'll show your device here. It'll show you the remote level and the Oculus level of battery life right here, and it'll show connected. If it's not connected, guys, make sure that your phone and your Oculus are on the same Wi-Fi. Because if it's not on the same Wi-Fi, it's not gonna work. All right. So once you do that, refresh it. And then it should work if you're not on the same Wi-Fi. But once it's connected, you're all set to go. You're here. You're all good. From here, you want to scroll down. And you're going to see the option for developer mode. When you first open this up, it's going to give you this option right here. And when you open it up, it will show this off. And all you got to do is click this over and you'll be all set, guys. And then you're in developer mode once I choose this to be in developer mode. Now, when you connect it with your USB, guys, to your computer... Because you need to connect it to USB when you ever do any side loading and everything. It's going to give you the option. It's going to pop up on your on your Oculus. I can't show you now because it doesn't pop up for me anymore. But on your on your Oculus, it will pop up to allow this computer. So it can connect to the computer and everything. It's going to give you the option to allow this computer to connect to your device. You got to allow it. Um, I can't show you because I already allow it. I don't know how to turn it off. But it's all right. Just allow it and then that's it. You're connected. And that's all you have to do with the be in developer mode, guys. The only time you ever have to connect it is when you want to use like side quest or side load something. You wouldn't have to connect it. There's a way to do it Wi-Fi style, but it takes so much longer. I prefer you not to learn that way. It's just it's a pain in the ass, to be honest. But just connect it with the wire and you'll be all set. But today's video is just to show you how to do developer options on your device. And you saw how easy it is. A little kid could do this, guys. All right. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video and everything I showed you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And you got to make sure that everybody knows what we're doing on this channel so they don't miss a thing. Just like you don't miss a thing. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment box down below. And I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you do have a VR device, guys, let me know what VR device do you have. As you guys know, I have the PlayStation VR, which I'm getting the, the second one as well. I got the Oculus Quest 2. I got the Oculus One listed over there in, the, in in storage. And then I got the Rift, which plugs into my PC and I can use it anytime I want. Just plug it in. I don't even have to use the Quest if I don't want to. But if I like somebody's over and they want to play together, I can, I can use the Rift on my PC and they can use the Quest and then we can play together. So it doesn't interfere with each other. So that's a good thing about that. Oh, and I also got the third part one as a quest one. If three people want to play with me, you know, simple. Also, guys, if you still haven't done so at the end of this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, enable bell notification, so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Cause trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss a thing. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Junior, aka Semi, signing out from Semi to Tech. Peace. <laughs>